Well, okay, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to take square roots of numbers on the TI-83, TI-84 calculator. I will also be doing cube roots and fourth roots. Alright, so the first one I'm going to do is the square root of 49. If you notice on my calculator here, on the left side where my thumb is pointing, you see a radical and it's blue. Now on my calculator, anything that's blue, I got to hit that second button and then that X2 button and if you notice, that puts a radical on my screen. Now, if your radical is yellow on your calculator, your second button will be yellow and you have to punch it to get to that radical. Now, I'm doing the square root of 49, so now I got my radical, I punch in 49 and enter, and if you notice on my screen, the square root of 49 is 7. Alright, the next problem I got there is the square root of 169. So I'm going to clear that screen. Alright, square root again, I want to hit the second button, and then the x squared, that gets my radical on the screen, and then I punch in 1, 6, 9, and hit enter. And if you notice on my screen, the square root of 169 is 13. Now, let's see if we can do these negative numbers. Number 3, I'm taking the square root of a negative 25. So, I'm going to get my radical again by hitting second, x squared. That puts my radical on the screen. Now, I'm doing a negative number, so I'm going to go down here and hit the negative key and then punch in 2, 5. And if you notice, I'm going to take the square root of negative 25. When I hit enter and look on my screen, it says error, non-real answer. That means that I cannot take the square root of a negative number and get a real answer. Alright, so let me clear that. Alrighty, so where am I at? I'm on number four, which is the cube root of 64. Now, you can do cube roots on the calculator, but you have to know how to get to it. So look on my screen. You see that math button right there? I'm going to push that math button. And if you look on my screen, one, two, three, look at number four. It's got a cube root in front of that radical. So what I do is I hit four, and look what it brings on my screen. It brings a cube root radical up. Now, I punch in what I need, 64, so I put six, four, enter, and look at that. The cube root of 64 is four. Alrighty, let's see. Number five, I'm doing the cube root of a negative 343. Okay, let's see if we can take a cube root of a negative number. Alright, so I hit math. That brings up that list. I need number four for the cube root. And if you notice on my screen, it's got a cube root sitting there. Now, negative number, so I'm going to hit the negative button. Three, four, three, enter. Now, look on my screen. That gave me a negative 7. So that means the cube root of negative 343 is negative 7. So I can take a cube root of a negative number. Alright, let's see. Number 6 is a fourth root of 81. Okay, here's the thing. To do any root higher than 3, the way we're going to do that, we got to push the root first and then hit that math button. So notice, I'm doing the fourth root of 81. So on my calculator, I hit the four. Then I go over here and hit the math button. And if you look on the list, I need number five, the one with the little X in front of the radical. That X means that you have to tell it what root you're taking. So. I'm going to hit 5 on my calculator. That's going to bring up that radical. Now look what it did with that 4. It put that 4 in front of my radical because I sort of pre-told it what route I was taking. Now, I'll do what? Punch in 8, 1, enter. And the 4th root of 81 is 3. Okay? So, we're going to do another high order route. Look at number seven here. The fourth root of 625. So remember, 
since my root is higher than three, I've got to tell it what root I'm going to take. So I'm going to take the fourth root again. So I hit my four. I go hit my math button. And remember, on the screen it now has my list. I hit number five because I want the one with the X in front of the radical. And once again, I've got a four in front of my radical. And now I punch in six, two, five, enter. And the fourth root of 625 is 5. So, y'all, that's the trick on that calculator is finding where your hidden things are located. Square roots, we can use the front of the calculator on a square root. I just hit second, x squared, and it gets my square root radical. Okay? If I'm doing anything that's bigger, such as a cube root, I hit the math button. Okay, where'd I go? I hit the math button, and that brings up my list. In a cube root, I would use number four. Okay, any root higher than three, such as the fourth root or a fifth root, I gotta punch the root first, and then hit the math button, and I go with the option number five, which has the X in front of the radical. All right, good luck on that.